ከተታን ባሽ ሰላም አለይኩም በንስበት درس امرو امرو باسي تشابتر هاش سيكشن 3 اكين ايش دي ان اي ريبليكيشن دي ان اي ريبليكيشن دي ان اي ريبليكيشن زور زور مهمو واشتي شي تياتو واتسون ان كريك ديسكفري ذا دبل هلك ستراكشر اوف ذا دي ان اي كوزد ا جريت اكزيستمنت ان ذا ساينتيفيك كوميونيتي كاتا واتسون كريك بو جاي زي نوبل امر الى صار يزان وسوشال سودو 1962 ريسيف ريسيف نوبل برايز because uh, great existment in the labrika dirgaya kan kardola lo ilmika la pishti nihene kan dieni wo he dieni replication is a process by uh, by which dieni is copied kwa ta dieni replication yani duplication of the dieni and uh, twice of the dieni division of the dieni by process of the dieni is copied why dna is copied aim of the dna replication just for cell division the aim of uh, dna replication for what for cell division how many types of the cell division exist in the nature we have three types of the dna uh, we have three types of the uh, cell division in the nature one of them is my mitosis mitosis actually the aim of the mitosis for regeneration regeneration repair repair and uh, reproduction uh, embryonic formation embryonic formation embryonic formation and so on but uh, meiosis is for the aim of the meiosis for what for gamete formation for gamete formation the aim of the meiosis is gamete formation how about the binary fusion binary fusion is a division of the bacteria is a reproduction of the back binary fusion uh alin prokaryotic prokaryotes reproduce 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 by binary fusion so binary fusion is for division of the bacteria like bacteria such as bacteria example of prokaryotic that have no nucleus is bacteria so bacteria reproduce by binary fusion so all these three types of the division mitosis and meiosis mitosis meiosis binary fusion all of them do not reproduce do not occur without uh with our dna replication so the aim of the dna replication is to uh, mitosis meiosis binary fusion during dna replication when dna replication occur the two nucleotide strands of the original double helix separate along the each strand the main step for the dna replication or the first step for the dna replication is that the two strands of the dna must separate from each other how could dna replication plain had how could plain do dna double strand the collect three janabit of dna replication rule why does each strand of the dna serve as a template to make new complementary strands because uh, each strand is complementary together the dna double like is is anti parallel mean one of the strand is uh, complementary to the other strand not identical to other strand طبعا دي ان اي بمشوا يعني دي ان اي كومبليمنتري اكترين ام 3 برايم و 5 برايم داخلنيه والله مهر اي خونين سلام 3 برايم امش 3 برايم و امش 5 برايم 5 برايم امش 5 برايم مدرسة كاني بيشو شوغر ما خوين شوغري بنتو شوغر ما خوين بنتو شوغر وطمان تشان كاربونا فا 
5 كربون شوجر 5 كربون شوجر او 5 كربون شوجر اوكي طبعا هو شوجر رقم 1 كان شوجر كربون نمبر 1 كان كربون نمبر 2 كربون نمبر 3 كربون نمبر 4 كربون نمبر 5 اوت سايد اوف ذيس ستراكشر كربون نمبر 5 لوكيتد هير ذيس از كربون نمبر 5 ذيس از اوكسجين ذيس كربون is 3 prime so this sugar begin like that so it is called 3 prime finally this sugar located here is called 5 prime because final carbon located in the uh, fifth carbon in the sugar how about this strand this strand is opposite opposite the sugar is opposite like that so this strand begin by three carbon three carbon one two three this carbon is called three prime while this end is uh, ended by fifth carbon carbon number one car carbon number two carbon number three carbon number four carbon number five so these two carbon uh, determine the structure of the uh, DNA how this carbon uh, orientate this carbon orientate or arranged in the this shape carbon number one carbon number two carbon number three carbon number four carbon number five so this carbon uh, is and this end is uh, this end is carbon number five so it is called five prime well this carbon uh, is three so it is called three prime carbon uh, how about the structure of the dna uh, we talk about that the dna is complementary no no not identical to each other so because the dna is uh, not identical so each strand of the DNA make make it as template for the formation of the other strand. After DNA replication, after replication, the two identical double stranded DNA molecules focus on this DNA molecule consists of two strands. So two DNA molecules consists of four strands. Each DNA molecule consists of the two strands, while two identical double-stranded DNA molecule consists of four strands, and move to the new cell uh, forming during cell division. Babzanin step akani DNA replication chia. DNA replication have many steps. The first step, now this is called first step. First step. First step of the DNA replication is uh, begin by an enzyme called helicases helicases enzymes that separate dna strands the dna must separate from each other how dna separate from each other dna double strands separated by breaking down hydrogen bond between the bases so this hydrogen bond is weak bond and the helicases uh, able to break down this hydrogen bond three hydrogen bond located between CG and two hydrogen bond located between AT so this enzyme able to break down three hydrogen bond between CG and two hydrogen bond between AT and make the two strands separate from each other and ready for replication so a base should be zanila sar helicases what is the helicase? helicase an enzyme that راست علی انزیمز بلام یک هلیکیزه بلام چند هلیکیزه که ایش را کن لسر دین ریپکیشن بوی علی انزیمز هلیکیزز وی کن سی هلیکیز این ایش ریپکیشن فورک کنتین ون انزیم ان انزیمز ها سپرید دین ای فرم ایش ادر سو ابی سی شد هی بی زنی لسر دین ای بلین هلیکیز یکم انزیم دا سپرید DNA double strand from each other is helicase. How? By breaking down hydrogen bond between two bases. Why? Same should. 
this action allow the DNA two strands of the double lacus to separate from each other and ready for replication. What event must must begin in uh, the process of the DNA replication? Uh, each DNA replication uh, must uh, begin by uh, separation of the DNA double strand from each other by helicase. So before each replication the DNA double strand must separate from each other by helicases. Helicases move along the DNA molecule separating the two strand by breaking down hydrogen bond, not covalent bond. Hydrogen bonds are broken down by three things heat, helicases and RNA polymerase. In the DNA replication the helicase re responsible for breaking down hydrogen bond between the bases. What is the DNA replication fork? Replication fork. The Y-shaped region of the DNA, the Y-shaped uh, region that result when the two strands of the DNA separate from each other like this. This is replication fork two strands of the DNA separate from each other by this enzyme called helicase. This is helicase. Break down hydrogen bond between these two bases. Then form a structure called replication fork. This point is called replication fork. Uh, and it is Y-shaped. 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 Take it uh, inversion inverted y-shaped this is called replication fork so replication fork uh, result when two dna uh, double lacus two dna double lacus uh, separate from each other second step second step second step of the dna replication is that we have uh, an enzyme or enzymes called DNA polymerase. What is the D DNA polymerase? DNA polymerase uh, are, are enzymes that that catalyze formation of DNA DNA from a DNA template kata or enzyme that catalyze formation of the DNA from DNA template. DNA polymerase uh, have three types DNA polymerase. One, DNA polymerase. Two, DNA polymerase. Three. I'm um, uh, three types of the whole rastia. DNA polymerase 1, DNA polymerase 2, DNA, DNA polymerase 3. Now, we have to say that DNA polymerase 3 types of DNA polymerases. Uh, what is the function or what are the function of the... What are the function of DNA polymerase? What are the function of the DNA polymerases? DNA polymerases... Uh, have mm, three functions three function one of the function at complementary nucleotide at complementary nucleotide what is that nucleotide nucleotide consists of phosphate group phosphate group why am I deoxyribose the oxy ribose sugar deoxyribose sugar why deoxyribose sugar ama do lagalchi nitrogenous base and and nit nitro genus bases so each nucleotide consists of three things DNA polymerase at nucleotide. Two, 
to the complementary template strands. These nitrogenous base or these nucleotide found floating freely inside of the nucleus to each of the original strand. So, uh, nucleotide that found in the nucleus by DNA polymerase added to the original strand. Original strand we can say template strand. Template strand. Template strand. <coughs> Inja being a third one. The second function of the DNA polymerase is form covalent bond. Covalent bond is formed by DNA polymerase. The covalent bond located between deoxyribose sugar of one nucleotide and phosphate group of the next nucleotide. So, covalent bond is formed between deoxyribose sugar of one nucleotide and phosphate group of the next nucleotide. Uh, this covalent bond is formed by DNA polymerase. Third, third function, hydrogen bond between the form hydrogen bond between the complementary nitrogenous base on the original and new strand. So, original strand that can mean template strand, new strand. While the covalent bond just form in the new strand. But the hydrogen bond that is formed by DNA polymerase form between original strand and new strand. Why? Because mm, uh, for connect, connecting connecting new and old strand together. Masha? I'm a bunny's bed. Oh, in just a baby, Nasser, Chibi Nasser. I'm pursuing the section of your katana theati. A little now, a little now, Haniki at the idea. Bone no muscle cell, muscle, muscle cell. The now muscle cell, aka, Emma Zain muscle cell, she diploida, diploida. Muscle cell at here. Diploid water two N. Two N my best match here. Do and it should shush chromosome here. Should shush chromosome. Contain fortiscus chromosome. Right? Perserica away. How many picogram? How many picogram? DNA could be extracted from the same number in the gamete cell. Gamete cell contain uh, one N, right? One N. Am I yak? Do him shan chia? Woodman contain 23 chromosome. 23 chromosome. So Agar di kati bay la nao masal salak agar chul shash kromosomi tia bay ekser divide by 2 So this picogram must be divided by 2 This picogram must be divided by 2 because each muscle cell if if each muscle cell contain 2.2 picogram of the DNA So how many picogram uh, of the DNA extracted in the gamete we can say 1.1 picogram of the DNA and beer to a mabasicum, chuaram function, chuaram function, a DNA polymerase repair, 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 misspairing of ENA. Masha, any mistake I can check, correct, correct, all or correct, correct, miss. Take of base pair water chica prevent prevent mutation prevent mutation aka agar seri or smap can ama step ya kama step ya kam would man the first step of the DNA replication is that the DNA must separate from each other by helicase. Helicases move along the east strand of the DNA 
then break down hydrogen bond that make the two strands separate from each other and DNA polymerases this is DNA polymerases this DNA polymerases at nucleotide to the complementary uh, that that are complementary to each of the original DNA strand I'm an original DNA strand okay I'm Oshina our original DNA okay I'm an original DNA okay it's got those are going to go how to I'm a DNA polymerase I'm DNA polymerase I didn't include I don't know in the do I look at any clue that I could do more local do seven how you can see me conservative I want a new way to say a new issue going to was trying to connect here this is old strand this is new strand this types of the replication is called semi-conservative replication DNA polymerase work in two two direction one direction follow replication fork and other direction our replication fork this is called replication fork this direction uh, say the uh, arrow can arrow follow replication fork this DNA polymerase at nucleotide follow replication fork while in the uh, in the left strand and the DNA polymerase add nucleotide away replication fork away replication fork and in this strand leave gap leave gap this gap later join together by an enzyme called ligase so we have two direction of the repl uh, of the replication one of them follow replication fork follow helicase follow replication fork uh, and the other strand uh, DNA polymerase at nucleotide away replication fork we have two direction of the DNA replication as replication fork move the moves along as the replication fork move along the original DNA thinnesses of one strand follow re movement of the replication fork follow movement of the replication fork the second strand in the other strand however moves in the opposite direction away replication fork we have two direction of the DNA replication which leave what gap gaps in the newly formed strand or newly synthesized strand these gap these gaps are later joined together by an another enzyme called ligase so in your textbook we have helicase DNA polymerase ligase that participated in the uh, DNA replication so what happened after replication fork form DNA polymerase after replication fork form DNA polymerase at new complementary nucleotide found floating free, free inside of the nucleus semi-conservative replication brittle away ka outdo molecular DNA ka drus away ni way kono ni way taza so in each new, new DNA double like is one strand is formed from the original molecule original molecule mabasmanchia old strand and one one strand is new so this is called semi semi meaning half this types of the replication is called semi-conservative replication because each of the new DNA molecules new DNA molecule do DNA molecule man here have or has kept one of the two of the original DNA strands DNA replication occur in great accuracy only about one error one error in every billion pairs of the nucleotide that is the DNA replication DNA replication I'm starting to use the Yaka template 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 uh, template is the DNA molecule that uh, uh, want to replicate requirement of the DNA replication the first one is template the second one is uh, uh, many enzyme like helicase 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 enzyme third one is DNA polymerases DNA polymerases 
Then it polymerizes. One, two, and three. Three DNA polymerase chain in the DNA replication. Fourth enzyme is called ligase. Ligase, ligase enzyme. This is the requirement of the DNA uh, uh, DNA replication. The template, my best match here, DNA. DNA molecule. DNA molecule. Then DNA replication trans step again. Man, the first step of the DNA replication is that the DNA must separate from each other. This is the molecule of the DNA that want to be replicated. A, A, T, T, C, C, G, G. This is a random example for the DNA replication. The A is paired with the T. The A paired with the T. The T paired with the A. And A, G, G, C, C. This is three hydrogen bonds between GC and CG, and two hydrogen bonds between AT. This is the DNA replication. This is called DNA template. Template. The first step of the DNA replication is that the, 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 these two strands of the DNA replication, this strand of the DNA must separate from each other by an enzyme called helicase. The helicase enzyme separate two strands of the DNA uh, from each other. So these two strands must separate from each other to form Y-shaped structure called replication fork. This point is called replication fork. So we write uh, the nitrogenous base A, A, T, T. Two hydrogen bonds between these. The helicase enzyme is that enzyme that separate the two strands of the DNA by breaking down hydrogen bond. This, the structure is called helicase. Helicase, helicase enzyme break down hydrogen bond between the bases of the DNA strands. Mm -hmm. This is C, C, G, 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 C, C. This position, this position, this position that the helicase work is called replication fork. Replication fork. Replication fork is the region that the two DNA strands separate from each other, or by which the helicase break down hydrogen bond and separate the two strands of the D DNA from each other. That is the first step of the DNA replication. The second step of the DNA replication uh, is that the uh, DNA polymerase. This is the DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase. This is DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase at nitrogenous base or nucleotide to the original strand. This is called template. Template. This is the nitrogenous base that being added to the uh, template of the DNA. If the DNA polymerase C, the uh, nucleotide C, so uh, DNA polymerase add G into the complementary. Uh, one of the function of the DNA polymerase is that adding nucleotide to the original strand. And form, form what? Form hydrogen bond between the two bases of the original and new strand. So this is called new strand. So, the first function of the DNA polymerase is that add nucleotide to the complementary base of the original strand. Then form hydrogen bond. Then form covalent bond. And then uh, uh, add another nucleotide which is called G. So, we have three functions of the DNA polymerase. First one, add nucleotide. Add nucleotide. Second function is that form hydrogen bond. Third function form covalent bond. Form covalent bond. What is the location of the hydrogen bond and covalent bond that is produced by the DNA polymerase? The hydrogen bond located between the new nucleotide and the original nucleotide. While the covalent bond located between the two adjacent adenine nucleotide. Deoxyribosugar of this nucleotide 
connect to the phosphate group of the dyslipoprotein. So deoxy ribose sugar of this nucleotide connect to the uh, phosphate phosphate group of the next nucleotide. So the DNA polymerase form three things: add nucleotide, form hydrogen bond, form covalent bond. This DNA polymerase, this DNA polymerase, DNA polymerase, polymerase in this strand, in this strand, right strand, follow, follow replication replication fork follow replication fork add the nucleotide toward the replication fork without leaving gap any gap that isn't exist in the new format strand while in the opposite strand form segment of the DNA and another segment another segment another segment so this segment is called Okazaki fragment this segment formed by DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase in the opposite strand move away replication fork. Move away replication fork. DNA polymerase in the opposite strand, in the left strand, move away replication fork. What is the meaning away replication fork? Mean at nitrogenous base or nucleotide to the original strand away from repl replication fork uh, in the this strand uh, the DNA polymerase leave gap these gap later are joined together by uh, another enzyme called lipase this strand DNA polymerase follow replication fork without leaving gap but this strand when the replication fork here the DNA polymerase at nucleotide after the DNA, uh, DNA separation proceed, another DNA polymerase come to here. Then form a segment. First segment formed by this DNA polymerase. Second segment formed by second DNA polymerase. When the DNA uh, separate further, another DNA polymerase come to here, then form another segment. This segment and this segments the first segment unable to join with the second segment the second segment unable to uh, join to the third segment and so on another enzyme called uh, ligase ligase this ligase or dna ligase dna ligase this dna ligase come to here then join this gap together one of the DNA polymerase form as a segment. Another DNA polymerase form another segment. These two segments unable to join until the DNA ligase come to here. The DNA ligase form uh, form covalent bond between the first and second segment or between two adjacent segments. When Karani Paris said he am Rasmapkan, Rasma Jarikan Hatola Bacaluria Zorgringa, labeli A is helicase enzyme. Label A is helicase enzyme. Label B is uh, replication fork. Label C is uh, DNA polymerase. And the label D is one nucleotide in the old strand. How many strand form it? Four strand form it from the uh, result of the DNA replication strand number one strand number two strand number three strand number four so two molecule of the DNA each of which contain two strand old and new which of the following strand uh, move to toward the uh, replication fork this strand you can focus on this direction if this direction uh, upward this is called uh, DNA polymerase at nucleotide move toward replication fork while in the opposite direction you can say this arrow move downward so uh, this strand in opposite replication fork which strand uh, leave gap 
strand number two the strand number two leave gap and move opposite direction of the replication fork which one is new which one is uh, old number one and number four uh, are old strand or template strand while number three and number two is new strand uh, in Java result at one series of video can or video la YouTube download and cardo well of still hard is also there but I'm so these are sort of it they talk when you video because all those past on a come hot and like a bit cells like these prokaryotic E. coli cells replicate themselves quickly and efficiently. Part of the process of asexual reproduction is the ability of cells to make identical copies of their DNA before cell division occurs. Prokaryotic cells that reproduce by binary fission rely on the fast, accurate process of DNA replication to ensure future generations of cells will have the same genetic instructions as the parent cell. The structure of DNA aids in the speed and accuracy of replication. Double-stranded DNA is a polymer of two strands of nucleotides, which are hydrogen bonded to each other to form a double helix. Nucleotides are molecules that consist of a deoxyribose sugar, a phosphate, and one of four nitrogenous bases. The phosphodiester backbones consist of alternating sugar and phosphate groups. The nitrogenous bases include cytosine, thymine, adenine, and guanine. Cytosine forms three hydrogen bonds with guanine, and thymine forms two hydrogen bonds with adenine. This is referred to as complementary base pairing. The double helix will have one strand oriented in a 5' prime to 3' prime direction relative to the hydroxyl group of the deoxyribose sugar, and the other strand oriented in a 3' prime to 5' prime direction. This shows the anti-parallel nature of the DNA strands. The complementary base pairing in the structure of DNA allows replication to be executed in a semi-conservative manner. Each strand of the DNA molecule is used as a template in the creation of a new double strand. Replication begins with double-stranded DNA being separated, and each original strand, called a parent strand, is used as a template for the complementary base pairing of nucleotides to make two new molecules. DNA replication occurs in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction adding new nucleotides to the three prime end of the newly forming strand. DNA replication will begin at a specific area of the molecule called the origin of replication. The origin of replication denotes the area of active replication called the replication fork. In order to understand how complex eukaryotic organisms replicate DNA, scientists first studied replication in prokaryotic models like E. coli. A number of enzymes are needed for replication to proceed once the replication fork is established. Helicase separates the strands of the double helix, and single-stranded binding proteins stabilize the newly single-stranded regions. DNA gyrase is used to make sure the double-stranded areas outside of the replication fork do not supercoil. Once the replication fork is stable, DNA polymerase catalyzes the addition of new nucleotides to the growing daughter strand. Other proteins, such as beta clamps and the clamp loader, help hold the DNA polymerase in place on the DNA. Short sequences of RNA, called primers, have to be paired to the template strands by the enzyme primase because DNA polymerase cannot begin to add nucleotides without a primer. Replication of both strands occurs at the same time, one using continuous synthesis and the other discontinuous. 
Continuous synthesis occurs on the 3' to 5' oriented parent strand, referred to as the leading strand. New nucleotides are added to the 3' end, moving continuously toward the expanding replication fork. Discontinuous synthesis occurs on the parent strand that is oriented 5' to 3', called the lagging strand, and is completed in segments called Okazaki fragments. Replication on this strand uses primase to add primers ahead of the 5' end of the lagging strand. DNA polymerase 3 then adds short sequences of nucleotides, the Okazaki fragments, to the primer, filling in the gap. As the helix is opened further, this process repeats until the entire strand is replicated. DNA polymerase 1 replaces the RNA primers with DNA nucleotides and DNA ligase is used to ensure bonding between the fragments and the replaced nucleotides. Once both the leading and lagging strands have completed their replication, two identical copies of the DNA molecule result. The process of DNA replication allows actively dividing bacterial cells to make sure all daughter cells have the same genetic instructions as the parent cell, allowing them to function in the same manner. Thus, bacterial populations can grow, increasing the number of individuals in a colony.